All right, guys, so remember we torqued these cap nut uh, bolts to 90 foot-pounds. So they're not going to be very easy to remove. So get yourself a breaker bar and uh, loosen these guys. And we're at point two six five. So we'll put the right ones over here to my right. Yep, point two five five on the left. So point two five five on the left. Now these races are going to want to fall out. So when you go to pull them, make sure you capture them. Get to the flange, pull the flange off, get the pinion out, and let's go and press the pinion bearing on. Make sure we're going the right direction there. Just grab our pinion. Retain our nut. We're most likely going to have to pound the bearing off of it. The flange should come right out, obviously. But the bearing is on there pretty good. So we're going to have to pound that out by holding and supporting while we drive through with a, a uh, rubber tipped mallet. Obviously you don't want to do this with a steel hammer because you will damage the threads and that's not good. Obviously want to double check make sure we didn't damage our races. Races look good. Okay, again, cut the cage off. There's the rollers. Here's our um, other standoff. And this is the one that is the pinion bearing that I reamed out. So we got our shim in there. Make sure the shim's in there. Um, and make sure it's seated nice and clean before we strike it. Make sure we're striking not the cage, obviously. Now I have, this is a seal driver from a different job I'd done. Hopefully it's got enough strength that it can uh, exert force into this. It is made out of a special type of rubbery plastic. I don't know if this is going to work too well. Alright, it's going down. Okay, just thought of another way that might be a little bit easier. Just going to use the... Uh, our makeshift driver and we're going to use it as a press uh, standoff and we're going to use our bearing buster kit to pull it on. So I just want to make sure everything is centered up. We're not dragging our teeth. I'm just going to go old school and drive it with this uh, metal punch. It's brass. Okay. I'd say it's fully seated. going to do we need that extra room to get this to sit on the pinion with the crush sleeve and kind of get this started we'll come back to it there's why see all that stick out should give us a standoff to at least start pressing that on to get more threads on there. A lot more threads to work with here. 
There we go. All right, this should try to start squeezing that on there. All that's left is the crush washer now. So we'll take some oil up there. And those races. Zing that guy around. Oil up the slinger. Alright, that's oiled. Now we should be good to go. Bring it about as far as that's going to go. Still have wobble. Okay, and that's the crush washer. And this is going to take a lot of force. Yeah, I'm going to have to have somebody come help me. Alright, so with the help of my friend Jeff here, he was able to hold the fixture in place while I applied the torque, and we've got it torqued down to... Spec is between 18 to... I'm sorry, 16 to 28. And we are at... They are between 20 and 22. Alright, so we're on final assembly here. Just making sure our races are seated. That's like five. Um, we're going to need to walk this out, so we need to move a shim from this side to this side and repack the shims differently. So back at it, a little back and forth, back and forth. Okay. What are you looking for now? Uh, nothing. i got to fine tune this. Alright guys, so here's the finished product. If I had to do over again, I would not have done the test fitting. I would have gone straight into pressing the pinion on and doing, uh, you know the final build up uh, the press fitting it took time to grind out those uh, old, old bearings in order to fit them for the test fitting and it didn't actually resolve anything I had to move the shim packs around uh, because the preload changed it changed slightly the gear pattern is still really really good the tooth engagement um, but it is harder to turn uh, the preload difference between 8 uh, inch pounds and 22 inch pounds is substantial so, um, but yeah, it's all ready for the locker, and I'm going to put that in a different video. So, um, we're going to go ahead and close this out here. Just recommend doing the final installation and not messing around with a pre-fit.